What's up everybody and welcome to another episode of AutoCAD Essentials and this time you are going to draw this very simple gust plate and also explore text and table command. Let's start drawing random sized gust plate. But before drawing I would like to give some tips on how to draw it if you want to pause the video and draw it on your own. All you need is line or polyline and circle commands. For angled lines you will use polar tracking and to make circles at a specific location draw horizontal and vertical lines and their intersection will be midpoint of the circle. Then you can delete all the unnecessary lines. Now pause the video. If you couldn't draw it on your own, that's okay, we will do it together. Let's start by drawing the outline of the gust plate. Type PL plus spacebar for polyline and start um, somewhere right here. Enter 1400 millimeters for bottom, then go up about 500 millimeters. Here, enable polar tracking with 45 degrees if you haven't enabled yet. Now continue drawing with 45 degree angle or 135 degree angle. It shows 135 because it measures counterclockwise. The AutoCAD always measures counterclockwise. Double press spacebar to finish. Then start from the other side. Do the same thing. 500 up and then 500 with 45 degrees to the right. Finally, just click on the other side like so. Now we need circles for bolts. But how to draw them with exact distance or space? There are many ways to do that, but we will go with what we know so far, which will be a bit tedious. <laughs> yeah, boy. Press PL plus spacebar, choose center point here, go 300 millimeters up, then go 100 right, 300 down, 200 left, 100 up, 200 right, 100 up, 200 left, and finally 100 up. All of the numbers were in millimeters, just keep in mind. Whew, this was hell of a maze. But normally, it's much easier than this if you use other tools, which we will cover in coming videos. For now, type C plus spacebar and draw a circle at the intersection points like so. and then delete the lines. Do the same thing for right side. I will just fast forward this part. You can do the other side on your own, but for the sake of showing how much easier it becomes when you master the AutoCAD, I will do it by using mirror command. Select all circles on this side, click on the center point of the gust plate here, then move down and left click on the mouse. Press spacebar and that's it. Super simple, no hassling. Normally all the things we have done so far would take 30 seconds. But why the hell did we do this then? <laughs> Jokes aside, sometimes there is no shortcut. Or you might not know it. And there, at that time, you will have to draw using what you know. Sometimes using the basic things. Now let's go to a text. And we start with text styles to have some cool, awesome text format. For that, go to Home tab, Annotate Panel, and click on the flyout menu and select this icon. You can also go to annotate and click on the diagonal arrow here that will also open text style dialog box. Or the easiest of all, just tap in style and press spacebar, 
which is my way of doing everything in AutoCAD. Always use command bar. It's much faster and easier. In the dialog box, you see lots of options to refine your text. Let's make a new font. Do not change the standard one. You never know when you will need it. Make a new style like so. Let's name it our style. Now we can change things as we want. Here we can choose different fonts. Let's choose Century Gothic. And you can preview it here if you don't know how it looks. For font style, let's choose italic. I don't want my text to be annotative because we are in modal space. I will explain the annotation in later videos. You can enter height here, but if you leave it zero, it will always ask for the height of the text when you place it in the drawing. We also have these cool effects like upside down, backwards, which you can see here in the preview. You can also adjust width factor. Let's change it to 0.9. And for oblique angle, let's make it 20. You can experiment all you like. I will leave it like this. Now the other thing we need to do is to make a new layer for text. Always make a new layer for each specific thing you are going to do. For example, make a new layer for outer walls, for inner walls, for furniture, text, table, and so on. Go to Home tab, Layers panel, Layer properties, and click on this little icon here, or press Alt key plus N. Name the layer as text in this case, and change the color to red. We will cover other details of it in later lessons, for now, close it. Now go to Annotate panel in Home tab, and click on the text and choose the single line text or just type text and press spacebar. Choose a starting point. Hmm. Let's put it right here. Specify the height of the text. If it doesn't show, move your mouse slightly away from the point. Lastly, it asks for angle. We will keep it zero. Let's type not funny AutoCAD tutorial. If you press enter in single line text and type something, you will start another text. To close the text, double press the enter. If you click on them, you can see that they are separate objects. Now instead of single line, choose multiple line text in the annotation panel or just type T plus spacebar. It will prompt you to specify the first corner, click and drag the window. That's where your text will locate. If you pay attention, your interface has changed. You now have text editor tab with all of different settings such as style, formatting, paragraph, very much like Microsoft Word. Before typing, always, always, always click in the box. Let's make uh, some notes. First note, do not forget to smash the like button. Second note is subscribe if you love it. As you could see in multiple line text, enter does not make a new text. It will just go to next line. It's almost like normal word editor. To leave the editor, click outside space. When you click on the text, can you see the arrow on it? With them, you can resize the text area. You can make it more narrow or wider. That's all for text. Now let's make a table. Oh my God! This will be just two minutes. Give me just two minutes. You may ask, why do we need it? Tables are useful when you need to annotate whole dimensions, materials and other properties in clean tabular format. And again, make a new layer for tables, type layer and press spacebar, click on this icon and name it tables. Choose this blue color and double click to enable this layer. Now close it. You can find table command in home tab, annotation panel, here this icon. But typing table is much faster. In AutoCAD, you can almost fetch or use anything AutoCAD has by typing it in command bar. In the dialog box, you will see table styles here. As name suggests, you can make a different table styles, adjust every detail of the table here. We will not dive into details yet. You can make empty table or link a data. 
You can also specify insertion point for the table or specify window where the table will fill in. Hours will be insertion point, enter the column number and width. Pay attention that row is only for data rows. If you have title and header and you choose three rows, you will have overall five rows. Just keep that in mind. And here you can choose how you want to arrange your table content. No header maybe, maybe you want all of it to be data. I will keep it like this. You can change it and press OK after you are finished. Choose a place to place the table. This place seems fine. Zoom in and double click anywhere you like to type in. For title, let's write dimensions. For headers, uh, you can type name, for the other one, diameter, for the next one, radius, and so on. Table is all done. Now we have... This, this is not okay. This needs to stop now. This is cancer. This, this is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. Okay, okay. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.